I get this question people ask me and I'll ask it to you is like, how do you keep up with everything going on? Uh, somebody who's doing an entrepreneurial path, uh, you're, you know, you forged your own way. You've done a number of different things and had success, but, uh, how do you keep up with it all? Uh, it's chaotic. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it varies from week to week, depending on what has the most pressing needs and priorities, but yeah, just trying to, I mean, I think that's the beauty of starting with the media and really leaning into that for, for five years four or five years before I started branching into the other things, whether it be mining or venture. Um, it sort of acts as a base that keeps me sharp and forces me to stay up to date with everything going on in and around Bitcoin and tangentially. So I have a good grasp, a good information base, a uh, good landscape uh, uh, picture in my mind of what's going on in Bitcoin. And then that sort of naturally dovetails into what I do with venture mining. Uh, it's just uh, those two are, I see them as like a natural extension of the base I've built with the media company. And yeah, it's hard. Again, week in, a week out, media company needs more attention one week. The mining company needs attention another week. And then venture, same thing, in and out. Venture is definitely, um, and the media are probably the most constant in the mining. I see myself as a, sort of like a mercenary drops in and uh, gets stuff done when I'm needed, Tom and, and Matt are really running the operational side of things and they have that down pat and I'm very lucky that they're my business partners in that. And I, I sort of handle some of the biz dev and, and financing stuff. Well, it's like you build this, like the media machine, which gets you distribution of ideas and distribution of yourself and content. And then like these things you're doing are kind of tangential in a lot of ways, like you mentioned it, it drives, cause you're doing all this Bitcoin content and then you're meeting people in the space, you're meeting people that are interested in mining or interested in investing. Um, and then you kind of play off those things. So it's not like you're taking these giant leaps into like totally different avenues. You're kind of basically just building on top of uh, the foundation that you've made. And I think that that's kind of important. I think a lot of times people want to, I don't know, just get into all this random stuff, but it's like build one thing and then figure out ways to kind of put out tentacles into, uh, into tangential things. Is that a fair way to, to look at it? Yeah. And I think we've discussed this before, either on your show or mine, but content's like one of the most high leverage things you can do in today's day and age. And for me, particularly for what we're doing in Bitcoin, whether it be venture or mining, it's it just acts as like a top of funnel. Obviously, I'm talking to a lot of founders in the space because they're building the products that people want to learn about. And so it, it just creates a natural network of people who come on the show develop a relationship we become friends and really get to understand their businesses and, and again it just makes it easy from the venture side of things um, from a due diligence perspective on what they're actually building and then uh, the relationship side of things developing a re good relationship with founders and really understanding who they are and what they're trying to do and then mining as well obviously mining's a big part of bitcoin so we cover that pretty extensively over the last five years and um, same thing, uh, have everybody in the mining industry come on the show, develop that network out and um, really, again, gives me a good information base from which to operate in, in the context of Standard and Cathedra. I sit on the board of Cathedra as well. So um, yeah, yeah, the content, particularly doing a podcast where you're interviewing individuals is has been the best networking tool or hack if you want to call it that in my life and it didn't really i never really started with the intention um to to do it that way i was genuinely curious about what people were building and wanted to help get their messages out and teach people who are curious about bitcoin what's actually going on and then it just became a natural extension of that over time mm -hmm.